Look at me with a full cart at Goodwill. I'm just a girl, a wonderful girl. Well, hello friends, and today we are at the Goodwill. The first of two Goodwills that I'll be going today to hopefully get one video out of. But we are in Columbus, Indiana. Let's go see what, what if anything, we can find. Here, right when they open. Hopefully it'll be good. Heading straight over to the hard goods. See what we can find. I'm gonna go check out the books. We'll see if we can find something good in here today. What do we got? Little salt and pepper shakers. Little diamond. Diamond point. That's kind of cute. $2.99. All right, so I see that we got some full shelves. Here's a little girly, little girly turkey candle for 99 cents. So we'll do that. My Goodwill does not do any discounts for colors of the week. No, they don't do that anymore. Got lots of figurines of, of humans and angels and a very um, tired looking Santa in blue. Got Hallmark ornaments. This is a cute little mouse for 99 cents. He was painted in 1982. He's kind of cute. Here's a little June angel, but she's got a lot of broken flowers and a broken wing. Oh girl, had a tough time I see. Something back here is wrapped up in it's a planter full of marbles, but that's a new planter. It's not an old planter. Some um, some snow globes can be worth a little bit of money. This one is a Moana, I think. Are you Moana? Is that who you are? Lots of babies. Oh, she's got glasses on. You're a cool doll. Now we do have an antique little bowl here. We've got some a uh, crack on it. It's $3.99. A lot of fading, so I'm not gonna get that. Lots of clear glass. This is kind of nice. $3.99. Uh, some paperweights. Okay, we're gonna keep looking because I'm not seeing anything that's too remarkable at this moment. All right, now we're on the wicker, the wicker and basket aisle. Um, I like to find like baskets and stuff to use for storage and things for me, my reselling supplies and stuff at the shop, but I'm not seeing anything. This one's kind of nice to use for fruit, like a nice little fruit basket there, and it is $3.99. Grateful, thankful, blessed. What's this one say? And so the adventure begins. Laundry, sorting life's problems one load at a time. Donut You Love Fall, Trayvon, Best Mom Ever, Joy to the World, Let It Snow, Teaching as a Work of Heart, Race Fans, Welcome, Kiss Me, I'm Irish. Oh, well, this is a little piece of luster, lusterware by Fire King for $4.99. It's very, very uh, worn, this little bowl here, very worn for 99 cents. And then these are kind of cute too. I know I have a bunch of plates like this already. These are Homer Laughlin, the little bread plates. Those are kind of cute, but I don't like to ship plates. They make me very nervous and they don't excite me. So I know that they'll just sit for a while, but we're showing you what we can see. Here's some false graph right here. Is it $3.99? Yeah, $3.99 each. Not for the set, each. Oh, Santa. Santa, you've got a golden beard. You are plastic and a dollar ninety-nine. I mean, I'm thinking I might need to get this. It's like Mr. Fluffer pants with glasses. It's ninety-nine cents. I'm gonna get that for me. Okay, I thought I might have found something kind of out of the ordinary to sell on eBay. This is this even up. It's a shoe lift. Um, they sell for about twenty bucks or so on eBay, but they want Goodwill wants fourteen ninety-nine for it. So, I mean, it's a great value if you're needing this, but not for resale for me. But this is Pamper Chef and has never been used. It's 99 cents and it is so your water doesn't boil over in your pot. I haven't looked up comps for it, but I'm going to get it. Maybe and keep for myself, possibly. I don't know. Sometimes this area of kind of like general merchandise, you can find a lot of things that you can sell on eBay. I know even like with some beauty products, 
um, some ones that are discontinued. I know if you follow Crazy Flipping Mom, she sells a lot of things on Amazon, a lot of like beauty product things, and that's fascinating to me. Um, so you just never know what you're going to find in like this general area here on the shelves. Look at this you and me playtime tunnel. Look at the little gerbil. Look at his little teeth. Oh, I guess that's his nose. I thought those were his teeth. Not as funny looking as I was I what I thought, but when you look at it real quick, doesn't that look like his little teeth? I don't know. Maybe I'm hallucinating. Okay, just so you know, I did look these little you and me play time tunnels. They don't have much of a resale value. Some of the other products made by this brand, like there's like a little play area, can be worth a little bit of money, but these are not. Oh, this box intrigues me. It's a doll head. Is there really a doll head in here? Oh, there is. Let's see. Doll head. Baby. A little baby head. Um, there's no markings on it. Someone's painted it. It was a blank. How much do they want for it, I wonder? How much do you want for this baby head? $2.99. Okay, for me, I love looking at the games and toy section when I go to Goodwill. I love games, and so I specifically always look for games that are new sealed first. So just kind of glancing through to see if I see any puzzles or games that are sealed with the plastic on it mainly is what I'm looking for. Because sometimes with puzzles you have to like look because they're not wrapped but they still might be sealed around the side. So I'm not seeing anything. There's more on this side here and then I'll do a little bit closer of a look. So I didn't see anything in the toy section but you know always look at the plush too because there's some squish, squish mellows that can be worth a lot of money. There could be some Build-A-Bears that are worth a little bit of money. This one's $1.99, so I might look that one up. So she does sell for about $12.99. It's, it's, you know, it's pretty good, but there were several of them listed, so I'm not going to get her. Sometimes these plush can be sleepers. So just look through them. If there's anything that kind of speaks to you a little bit, you can take a picture on Google image search if you can't find the name, find the name of what it's called, and then go into eBay and see here's another Build-A-Bear, he's so cute. Um, and then there's another Build-A-Bear dog. I think you're Build-A-Bear. Oh, maybe you're not. Maybe you're not. And see, I know some of these, these big eyed Beanie Boos, I think some of them can be worth a lot of money and I've just recently learned that any oh here's Count Chocula no you're not you're from Transylvania the movie some South Park plush oh he's built a bear he's cute some South Park plush can be worth big big money so keep an eye out for those one thing that I like to look for basically just for myself and sometimes for resale because some of them can be uh, worth a little bit of money are vintage um, hand towels and pillowcases and sheets obviously but um, I just, there's just nothing like some hand towels they're just they don't make towels like they used to and I love vintage pillowcases it's just something that I like to look at sometimes holiday placemats too sort of leaves on there sometimes they're getting harder and harder to find because I think more people are looking for them they've discovered that they're great and um, they're getting harder to find so it's just something that I like I like to look for. All right, Goodwill number one. I spent $20.08 and I got a puzzle. This is a 2,000 piece puzzle. It's brand new. So, you know, when I was saying that you look for like the plastic, you can see this is still sealed. It's got the little uh, round um, seal marks and I've got the cat picture, the Pampered Chef boil over thing. I got this sequence game for Emma. I love this game. I don't think that she has that. So I got that for her. I did get these plates. I use these for cat food for my cats. Um, they were 99 cents each. And then I got Mark a shirt and I got that mouse and the girly uh, turkey candle. So all that for $20 from Goodwill number one. Okay, so now I'm going into a San Soshi. I'm probably saying that wrong, but it's a thrift store that is ran by the United Way here in Columbus. So I think I've been in here one time before and I don't quite remember what it's like, but 
we're gonna go see. So it's a thrift store, it's quite busy. Um, I'm looking through the Christmas items right now. So I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to film in here, but I'll I'll do what I can. Oh my gosh, look at here. It is a talking wreath, Christmas wreath. So we gotta get that off the shelf. I love these. They have a color color coating thing. I can't, I'll have to get this off the shelf with two hands. Okay, so here is their price guide. So orange is 75, green's a dollar, pink's a dollar fifty, red is two dollars, and yellow is two fifty. So really nothing is over two fifty in the whole store. So I did get this is a Brin's mystical Santa. He is what was red? Two dollars. They have a pretty good resale value on eBay. And then I got another little silver bell. It's a stupid collection of mine, but look at this. This is the American Crystal Collection, the uh, Crystal Christmas Tree. This says $3 on there, and I'm not seeing another little color-coded thing. So I gotta ask, but I'll still pay $3 for it. This I need to look up. It is a dollar, but it is Green Bay Packers, the stadium main gate. It is Hawthorne Village. So you can stick a light in there and it'll kind of illuminate. If anything, I'll give it to my brother because he loves the Green Bay Packers. And then I couldn't find a little dot on this wreath, but I'm gonna check out on that. But so just kind of slowly making my way. Oh, look at this little headset radio for a dollar. General Electric headset radio. I might look that up. Okay, so one sold for four dollars. So we're not gonna get that, but I have a feeling that this is gonna be kind of a maybe a somewhat of a treasure trove place. Maybe to find things on eBay for sure. Like these resistance bands, they are two dollars. They're new in the box. I'm curious. So these are a dollar each. And they sell for about pretty readily for about twelve dollars each. So I mean, there's a couple different ones. They were clearanced from Walmart, but I mean, it would be listing one time and do a quantity of however many. So I think I'm gonna get them. See, these four are the same. Actually, there's five that are same. There's one more over here. Yeah, so we've got six that are all the same. So I might, I might go ahead and get that one. It's gonna be pretty easy to list. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. Okay, so I spent $36 in sand sushi. I know I'm saying that wrong, but I did get some vintage sheets. These are Lion King, and then these are Rugrats. These were $6, these were $4. I got Mr. Fluffer Pants a toy. Um, I got a couple games and that talking wreath. The, this was a dollar, the tree, the bell, the Packers thing. I haven't looked it up, but it's pretty a safe bet. If it's not worth anything, I'll give it to my brother. And then I got, I did get the resistance bands. That's just an easy thing to list on eBay. And um, the, this, which I couldn't find exact comps for this exact one. I did look him over and he is in wonderful condition. He's like a wizard Santa. But yeah, it is made by Brins, uh, 1995. He's in his box. He was a dollar fifty, so I think that was a pretty good gamble there. The comps that um, ones I've seen similar were about a hundred dollars. So we'll see how that goes. But it's definitely a place I'm going to check in a little bit more often. I did run into a subscriber friend, and she was like, "Oh my gosh, I'm so glad that you discovered this place. Um, I've been here once, once before, but..." I was with Mark and he, he made me hurry. So sand sushi, I know that's not what it's called, but that's what I will forever call it now. Cause once it gets into my little brain, that's what it, it is forever. Um, but yeah, I, it's in Columbus, great place to stop in and it's supporting a good cause. It's supporting the United Way. So two, I would show you my other thumb, but I, I am holding my camera with my other hand, but I'll definitely come back definitely come back anyway all right on to the next thrift store don't know where it's going to be yet might be a goodwill i'm just going to find another little place but i'm going to look and see but there's a lot of people here today though a lot of people
Oh, hello everybody. It's a few days later and I'm now at my local Goodwill. I don't have high hopes because there's not <laughs> it, there's not much to see, but we're going to go in and we're going to see what we can find to add to this video so we can actually get a full video out of going to Goodwill. Let's go in. Like I said, it's very small in here. The music will be very, very loud, so we'll have to fight with the music. And there's one shelf of hard goods. Well, it's been a while since I've been in and they've expanded. What? We've expanded in the Goodwill? What's this little thing? A shovel? Oh, there's a shovel. And a computer cart? And a baby bath? Two baby baths. Well, it's been a while since I've been in here. I'm going to start out with the games because that's what I like to look at. Oh, I'm not allowed to have that. I'll just do it in here. Beyblades. I know like some of these Transformers I've been selling and they've done pretty well. Oh, that's a claw. Look at that. <gasps> I, mean, I, might, I might have to get that. That's kind of fun. Why that lasts for a very long time. That'll be taken away from me probably pretty quickly. I know Nerf guns can do pretty well too on eBay. I don't know a lot about them. I know this one's probably missing the cartridge that holds the the bullets. This is a Mega, so I might look some of these up. This is a Mega Elite. Okay, so these are $3.99 each, and one of them in this condition sold for about $12, $14 free shipping. So I'm not going to get those. I did. See, there's a lot of them here, and I did see a couple other sellers had like big lots of them. Oh, what's that? That's like a big hammer thing for like $60, $70. So, I mean, they're $3.99 each. Ooh. Disruptor, $2.99 for that one. So, I mean, there could be money in there. I'm just not, I'm just not going to get, I remember these cars. Oh, this is the canine unit. Oh my God, Stacy, a totally 80s high school party game for $2.99. I'm getting that. Put it in here with my claw. Oh my word. It's the bedazzler. It's, look, it's Tanya from National TV. I don't know who you are, Tanya, but I wonder if there's any value in this bedazzler. It's $3.99. I just wonder if it's all in there. I'm curious. I'm going to have to look it up. All right, unfortunately, it only sells for $9.99. This one's not new. If it was new, it would sell for about, about $25 if it was brand new. But that one is not what other games and puzzles do we have? And don't forget, always look at the puzzles because sometimes they're not wrapped up in plastic. This one has been opened, but sometimes they're, they've got that little tape there. Sometimes even if they are wrapped up or they're taped up, you can stick your finger. Yeah, see this one's still in the bag. It's still in the bag. So they want 99 cents for it. I'm going to scan the barcode and see if it's worth anything on eBay. All right, I did scan it in. None sold. Lots of them listed on eBay. So, no sold comps. I'm not going to get that. These um, Think Fun games can be worth a little bit of money. This one's $1.99. I'm just going to put some games in my cart and then scan some in. Some games that look like this one's still sealed for $1.99. It is vintage. So, $1.99. Yeah, $1.99. It's still sealed. Oodles, the game you can't get enough of. It's oh, don't fall. It's from the 90s. I'll, I'll scan it. Burger Pile Up, a number stacking game for $1.99. So we'll scan in some of these, some of these games, and um, oh, that, that might have been sealed. And we'll see what we see. Play to learn. Some of these learning games can be worth some money. Wordy word. Hmm. Interesting games here today. Okay, so I did end up getting some games. Oh, I have to check this one. I have to check that one still. But this solitaire chest, I got Think Fun. It's worth a, a little bit of money. These I didn't look up, but they are sealed puzzles. I mean, if anything, I can lot them together. They're $1.99. 
um, the smart cookie pre-owned it does so I think this one is new though because it has those uh, little seals on it and then this is I didn't even check the comps it's a brand new puzzle and I like it if anything I'll keep it it's a, also $1.99 and it is sealed um, so I got some good games I'm going to check sometimes these chess games I know during the lockdown the chess games were selling for a pretty penny this one is $1.99 it's an Excalibur chess station it's got this little electronic piece let's see if there's even a barcode yeah so i'll scan this barcode in and see if it's worth anything all right pre-owned which this is it's worth about 20 bucks so i'm gonna get that pretty easy to list there's not a lot of pieces to count i can return things um, within a couple days here at goodwill so as long as i stick with it i'm getting totally getting totally my god stacy for me I still don't know if I'm going to get my little magnetic arm, but I'm kind of thinking I want to. I think I'm going to get that bread box down there, too. <laughs> Look at the cow. But we got we got the, the bevy of worded signs, and so they created a life they love. Love. No one is you, and that is your power. Swim, bike, run. Thank you for the food before us. Love you more. And for some reason, someone was kicked out of country. I have questions. Look, there's a whole bunch of blocks. You can change different things that you want to do for different days. I don't ever, never understood the, the appeal of that. But yeah, there's all there's a, all kinds of words at the thrift store here today. Oh, what's this one? Love grows here. Um, I did find this really cool vintage cork board for a dollar ninety nine. So. Me talking a lot of smack about Goodfell when I walked in and I got a cart full already. Oh, let's see my boyfriend up here. What are you? My boyfriend in a tube. I don't think they're. Oh, it's a bank. I could put all my money in your hole, in your slot hole, Mandalorian. All right, so this is a pretty cool little uh, light fixture, canvas fixture. We've got a name for it in there. It says patent pending mascot international but it hangs from the ceiling and you put candles from it this has some pity but it's 2 dollars but i think i'm gonna get that it's a pretty cool sculptural piece for someone's decor these are dar d-a-h-a-r but this one is signed by pritchard so are they the same oh see i don't like the fancy pants ones but this one's how much are they dollar 99 so i might i might get this one by pritchard okay no i'm not sold for 99 cents sorry 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 pritchard not today i also picked up these bike mounts they are 2.99 but they sell for about 17 to 18 dollars plus shipping so i can list they're exactly the same i can just make one listing and do quantity two so i think i'm going to get those and then this, I just think it's beautiful. It's a fruitcake, sunshine fruitcake. It's $1.99. But look at this Art Nouveau Egyptian revival on it. I just think that it's, I, I like it. I think it's pretty. And then look, I, he, he takes a, I can't test him, but because he, you have to put him into an AC adapter, but it's baby Krogu for Christmas. So he's $2.99. I'm going to take the risk. It's Grogu. So, looking through the books, this is the Van Dean Manual. It is a hairstylist, like a textbook for cosmetology school. It's a 1977 printing, and it does have some writing in it and some highlighting in it, but it sells for about $25 or so on eBay. And the books here at my Goodwill are $2.49. So, I am going to get that. It has a cool graphic on the front of it, too, I think. Look at me with a full cart at Goodwill. That's that's a shocker. I'm 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 pleasantly surprised. Goodwill. Well, I mean, they've paved the parking lot. They had more shelves. The music wasn't real loud. Listen, I may have to come in here once a week at least to see what's going on, but wow. I got some good stuff. I got, I got, I got myself a back, a vintage backgammon game. I've always wanted to know how to play. Hopefully, Mark will play with me. But good job. Here, you went for a ride, but I'm clapping with my one hand for Goodwill because it was a good day. So, yeah. Well, 
I, I thank you, Goodwill, for being giving today. Um, anyway, I, there was a this was a compilation of Goodwill and the San Sushi, which I'm saying wrong, but uh, so it was a great thrifting trip all together. I bought some things for personal use. I bought things for resale. It was a good couple days of thrifting. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I might be coming into Goodwill here a little bit more often. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe. I always, sometimes when, you, when you're so used to creating videos and putting content out, you kind of forget to tell people to subscri sub subscribe. I do get some comments that people say, I love your videos, I'm not subscribed. And I'm like, well, why not? It's for free. You don't have to pay to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Hi, friends. Just reminding you that I do have a second channel, The Misty Show. I would love for you to come and subscribe. And another reminder that I do have live sales every Tuesday right here on YouTube at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern and then at 5 p.m. Eastern over on Whatnot. The link to all of my sales are in the description. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. And unless I miss my guess, the boys will follow me around. I could make a music master, drop his fiddle, make a ball, hit a man, pass